Well, Matt, this trade war between China and the U.S. has really exposed many Chinese firms' reliance on U.S. technology. Huawei, of course, is just one of those firms. The U.S. is trying to cut off access to some Chinese companies from that American technology. And so semiconductors has really become front and center now. China has been focusing on developing its own semiconductor industry for the past couple of years. It's part of this broader Made in China 2025 plan, and the government has been pouring billions of dollars into the industry but these uh, trade tensions have really stepped up China's uh, push in the semiconductor and chip industry now even just last month you saw the government uh, come out with tax breaks for companies that are involved in the production of semiconductors and industry experts I spoke to um, are suggesting that actually China is going to become uh, to see some of the fastest growth in what's known as wafer production now wafers are essentially the basis the blank slate on which semiconductors are built and it shows how China is going from just designing chips through to manufacturing which is areas where typically Taiwan and South Korea have been strong in the past now the effect could be detrimental on the US in the long term because if China develops its own chip industry some US firms could suffer given how much the US relies on selling to Chinese consumer electronics um, makers here but let's be let's put a caveat in here that the ability for China to catch up with the U.S. in semiconductors is still a long way off. A couple of experts I spoke to suggested that China could still be about a decade at least away from closing the gap with the U.S. Of course, it's got to figure out things around supply chain and, of course, around getting the correct talent in to create this very big industry. So while U.S. companies might not be fretting right now, they're certainly keeping a very, very close eye on what's going on in China right now with chips. Matt, back to you. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.